We are on the road. Where are we heading? We are heading to Chateau Celebrity. Chateau Celebrity? Yes, we are. To a fellow YouTuber. I wonder if you can guess who. What are the clues? Where are we going? I would say big chateau. Really big chateau. Beautiful chateau. A true and stunning Chatelaine. Definitely. With her duchy. With, with a cheeky, cheeky duchy. With another cheeky duchy. A cheeky duchy. Handsome builders and craftsmen. And it's a chateau full of parties, I think. And we are invited to one this evening. And it's super exciting. I'm also a little bit nervous because they are so good at throwing parties and... Hosting. And hosting and they have costumes <laughs> and, and so I, I don't know if I will, if we will be up to the, you know, to the challenge of being a good, a good guest. There is a dress code, so hopefully we will shape up and look okay. Is it true they have peacocks? Yeah. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Wow. Oh. Yay! Our chateau is bigger than oh. us. Yeah, I think so too. Are you having chateau in Vienna? I wish I could have that chateau. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is stunning. Something. This house is better than wonderful. Wow, is it beautiful? I love it. Yeah. This is so beautiful, oh. Carmen. It's amazing. Oh. Yeah, nice this is incredible. I oh can't my believe goodness. the weather we've got for it as yeah. well. Yeah, it's incredible. It's so beautiful. It's like a fairy tale. Oh, it is. Come through. Yeah. yeah. Yes. yes we've yes, got yes, the. We've got to get Ziggy out the car. Oh, <laughs> Ziggy. This is Ziggy. Oh, I'm so excited to meet you. Oh. Oh. Because I, I don't want you to get too friendly with the peacocks before. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, he wants to give everyone puppy kisses. <laughs> <laughs> I saw other little kids. Yeah? When we were arriving. Oh, and should we, should we go and have a look at our rooms? Yeah! And here we are. I know. It's amazing. And we have the most beautiful room. We have an excited dog. Yes. Well, he's been in the car for over six hours, so come and have a look. We've got a beautiful family suite. Have you seen? Yes. The girls have a beautiful princess room, don't you? What do you think of the room, Lily? I love it. They've got some toys and some jewellery that Stephanie's left them. I love the wallpaper in here. It's beautiful. Look at this, look at this room. This is our bedroom. Another beautiful wallpaper. Yeah, Philip, have you seen the view from here? It's incredible. You have the view over the lake. This is the most incredible view. And they've also noticed we've got a lovely welcoming postcard from them. Dear Philip and Anna, welcome to Lalonde. I hope this will be the first of many visits. Happy Easter, lots of love, Stephanie and Philip. Aww. Isn't that sweet? And not only have we been given the most beautiful room, we were also welcome with a glass of wine and the kids with apple juice. Yeah. And I think I want one. I, you have yours, I don't have mine. Yes, here. Yes. Cheers. Cheers and so nice to be in Lalonde. I know, it's lovely, Super isn't exciting. it? exciting. You okay, Philip? You're not used to wearing such a nice outfit. Well, it's slightly on the tight side, so. Looking good. Philip, I have not seen you wearing a suit since probably our last friend got married a couple of years ago. Yes. It's not every day we get to see you dressed like this. No, only special people get to see me dressed like that. My wife and I follow the French rule to never come empty-handed to a party. And as you know, I'm always perfectly organized and well prepared. If somebody spotted a suspicious couple just before our arrival at La Lande, desperately driving from village to village to find an open shop selling champagne, it was somebody else looking like us. 
Anyway, to avoid any emergency related to beverages, there's a wonderful solution called Bright Cellars, a wine club that matches you with wine you love and also happens to be this week's ad. With a quick and simple seven question quiz, Bright Cellars will gather your taste preferences, asking for instance, what's your favorite chocolate? And then a sophisticated algorithm compares the results of the quiz with the vast selection of excellent wines in their portfolio, including sustainable varietals and even biodynamic wines. You will then receive a box which is completely personalized and unique to you. It doesn't only mean that you will be happy about what you drink, you will also stop wasting money on bottles you end up not liking. And as a cerise sur le gâteau, a cherry on the cake, each box comes with an educational card that details tasting notes, suggested pairings, best serving temperature and origin. It's basically learning through drinking. I like the concept. And if you manage to throw in very casually what's written on these cards at your next dinner party, you will look very sophisticated and smart, just like one of your favorite influencers. Thank you, Bright Sellers, for giving our followers a limited time of 50% off the first six bottle box. And all you have to do is to click in the link in the description to get started. Lily, there's an egg hunt today, you know that? Yeah. And it might look to you as if it was a game, but in fact, it's much more than that. It is something about two important words family and honor and when you search for eggs today you don't search them for you you don't search them for Lily you search them for all of us for all our family and our ancestors don't laugh it's serious it's a serious business I want you to give the best of yourself I don't want you to get an egg here an egg here I want you to get all of them do you understand okay if you walk alone you won't get many you need to walk as a team as your sister you need to spot them run there, get them, and whilst one gets the eggs, the other one has to look out for the other ones. And if there's another child, you don't let them get to the eggs. You need to be faster, you need to be stronger. Because these eggs, they mean a lot to us. For today, they are everything. Are you ready? Yeah. How many eggs do you get? All of them. <laughs> That's my daughter. Reminds me when we met. I know that was somebody else. Oops. If you find five, how many of these five are for me? You can have this. If you find five, I can oh, have five. Oh, that's how much she loves you. That's very good. I want some. I'm not sharing any of my eggs with you. <laughs> do I really have to? Yes. I do it for Team Le Fleur. Is this going to slow you down? I think these ears are slowing you down. Are you sure you want to carry them? No. Better. Go, go, go! go. How full is your basket? Wow! I'm lost. This is not a joke. I'm literally lost in Stephanie's woods. I can hear voices from here. And I think the shuttle is somewhere there. But, but I'm lost. It just shows you the size of the forest here. Like at our place, you can't get lost. It's so beautiful though. I don't mind being lost here. I'm very envious now. I have a forest envy. When we arrived, I had a chateau envy, now I have a forest envy. I hope the kids at least got enough chocolate to compensate. I really don't know where I am. That's where it came from, but I can't remember whether it was from here or from here. Let's just continue. I told my kids to be as fast as possible, but I didn't mean leave your father behind. And a lake. I can't believe there's a lake. Look at this. Now there's funny noises. There's a giant bird up there. Can you see this? It's suddenly very quiet. Look. What's that? 
a melted egg. That means that nobody else has been here. It's getting late and I'm hungry. Beautiful here, incredible, but still nobody in sight, apart from a group of cows. If you want me to go here, please hit the like button. If you want me to go here, please hit the subscribe button. Wow, 200 new subscribers. I need to go here. Okay. I think. That's where my journey ends. That's it. What now? What's this? Melted, opened egg. Somebody has been here. A naughty child. They probably ate the best part, the inside, and left the outer shell here. Ella, do you want me to carry the chocolate? Bye. No, you need to come. I'm going to call the policeman. If I take the chocolate. And look at me, I can see around your mouth, you had already some chocolate. That's normal. But I didn't have anything, is that normal? I'm the way. Oh no, I, you can keep this one. I want a small one, a little one, please. Mm -hmm. Oh. The blue one. Yes, my you favorite color. Which you, you are Thank boy. you, look, you're so kind of you, Guys, if, if I had a forest like this, I would just spend the whole day here. Would forget about the chateau. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to come down, I, very rarely actually, but recently I've been coming all the time. Ever since we've had the paths a bit more cleared, yeah. I love it. It's really amazing. love it. Yeah, but today is a pretty special day. Oh. I mean, with this weather and the sound of the stream. It's, this little stream is just magical, it's amazing. It's crazy how we get totally different chateau envy. Yes! <laughs> like we had serious heating envy. Yes, and the staircase. And bathroom yeah. envy. Oh yeah, entrance yeah. hall envy. Yeah. Oh, that is. the list goes on and on. And soon, kitchen. And paneling, you've got paneling in like almost every and room. And height, ceiling height. Oh yes. Yeah, but you've also got beautiful ceiling height in the, in the room we're in. It's beautiful. No. Weirdly on the first floor, yeah. but not on the how ground funny. floor. How funny, I was thinking that. I was like, so bizarre. One, two, three, four. Actually, Ella win because I gave her two of my chocolates. If I wouldn't give her my two chocolates, I would win. Three, Do we have more eggs than anybody four, else? Yeah. Five. Lily, how many eggs did we find in total? Eleven. That's amazing. High five, Lily. High five, Lily. I'm proud of you. Well done, Ella. I'm proud of you. High five. Oh. And I only have all of that. Wow. I win, Lily. I didn't win. I had so many. No, but you know I gave you two. Yeah, but I ate them. But I had still so many. We had the most stunning party yesterday evening and I still cannot believe that we are finally at Chateau de la Lande. Some of you might recognise this chateau from Stephanie's YouTube, Chateau Diaries. We've watched it and we've seen it in pictures, but actually being here is incredible. Like, I just not realise the scale of their chateau. I think, I would say it's probably five times the size of our chateau. I think our chateau would fit in this one wing of Chateau de la Lande. The scale of the restoration work here is incredible. And Philip, who is Stephanie's boyfriend and lives and works here, has very kindly said he would give us a mini tour. This wing is the only one that we've got remaining from either the 15th or the 16th century. Yes. But this, all of this was rebuilt in the 19th century after a huge fire. When Stephanie arrived, mm -hmm. was this, did it look like this or was it crumbling? So I wasn't here, but I've seen many pictures yeah. and it did not look like this at all. 
Uh, she painted all the um, shutters as well. The fountain wasn't here. There was no gravel. It was like a um, is it like a sandy texture. Yes, yes. Uh, there was no planting, nothing at all. So, so uh, transformed that. It's just, we've we've seen this shadow obviously on on the videos, but when we came here, the first thing we realized is how big it is, really. Yes. <laughs> and, and it took us three years to renovate our little chateau. So I really don't understand how anybody could take on a project like this. Because well, you multiply everything by mm -hmm. five, basically. Yeah. You know, our renovation was quite expensive. And, and, and you're not even done because you've got the 19th century wings. So, we are not uh, done. We've done yeah. maybe 70% of the main building, yeah. but nothing of, of the out buildings. And then you have a beautiful walled garden. And by the way, we are really jealous about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm very jealous. I came here have you and now I want a walled yeah. garden. <laughs> really. I've now seen this fountain and I need a fountain. <laughs> Actually, it was bought by Steph's father uh, for her. And when he passed oh. away, she got it installed here. That's so beautiful. And does it, is it on all the time? It's on a timer, so it ends yeah. up at night because it's quite loud. <laughs> it is quite loud, actually, but, but it's beautiful. It's yes. nice to hear the running water. So this is the 19th century parts. Okay. Um, there were a few bits were left, like the fireplace, which Steph found bricked up with the original uh, fire plate what? behind it. That's a brilliant find. And it's got the original uh, coat of arms of the family de Nadayak, okay. which is the Maquis family who used to own the place. Oh. And it's also the coat of arms you'll see on the chapel in a sec. I love this Murano chandelier. It's stunning. Would Steph notice if we put it in our suitcase I, and stole it? I'm, she's not very detail oriented, <laughs> but I'm guessing she might see that one. This time. is a small piece <laughs> might be missing. So as you'll see, like in the 19th century, they love the symmetry. So yeah. there's four doors. Mm -hmm. uh, those go to our current dining room. Yeah. This was designed as the dining room. That goes to the grand salon, and that goes to the cellar. This, uh, this door, the, this the fancy door. door. Ah, but that was really clever because you'd never know. Yeah, no. It's a secret passageway. I mean, yeah. No, no, no. Wow, what are these? So those is where they used to keep bottles of wine. Basically, there's a wine rack. Yes. And there's some stairs. So were the bottles upside down in the wine rack? How as far they? as I know, yes. Yeah. This is not a place where you want to get another bottle of wine when you're drunk already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But like I said, that used to be the dining room was designed as that, so they could just, I mean, tumble down the staircase. <laughs> but then down here, if you want to find just mind your hand and be yeah. careful. Um, yeah, it's very deep, isn't it, your cellar? Well, it just goes underneath the grand salon yeah. and underneath the staircase. Oh, so wow. that goes all the way through. There's and it's like vaulted, it's, a, yes. it's like a... Um, wow. There was a little pantry, I'm guessing. Yeah, like a cold store for stuff. Yes, I've actually I've never seen this before. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, saw, but maybe no, yeah. I don't know. It's. I wow. love that you just find stuff, don't you? That's it's right. so it's big here that you're, you're like, you're, yeah. you could be here for years and still discover you some, know, it, something new. It looks new. like somebody just trying to dig in from outside. Yeah. <laughs> yes. There's some enemy coming in with a... <laughs> this is a wood here, um, some timbers. of which had uh, looked like old doors and had some fire damage on it. So I'm guessing that some of it is from pre-fire. Because there was a fire here, wasn't there? Yes, and it wiped out half the shutter. That's why it had to be rebuilt in the 19th century. And now there's no bats currently, but usually yeah. it's full of bats here. Oh. Really? And you really have to duck and be, be careful. Oh God, I would be freaked out if I... Well, they're protected. So we... Yeah. Seth actually really likes the bats. Oh, there's one there, look. Just hey, one. Philip, Just look. one on his own. Oh, yes. look, can you see it? Oh, yes. It's so tiny. But usually there's like, I don't know, like 100? I'm glad there's not 100 because I don't <laughs> think I would be able to come down here. <laughs> this is something else. Exiting and then being in this terrace and there's this view. Yeah. Because this used to be a lake and there's there, there's just a boathouse. Oh, so beautiful. But without a lake. <laughs> now imagine this with a lake. I mean, it's beautiful already, but if that has a lake, it's just going to be the most magical place. Yeah. We're trying to put it back right now, but it's going to take another couple of years, yes. I think. And I see you do some, some groundworks here. We're going to extend the terrace to here with another staircase coming down. Oh, beautiful. And there'll be a little chapel garden. Oh, nice. So, yeah. <gasps> Big project. Yes, we just ripped all the um, uh, box hedges out mm -hmm. and we're making a journal à l'anglaise behind the chapel. Oh, yeah. So Very we're nice. reusing those there. And the view then here, so you see yeah. the chateau. You see the landscape, you see the trees, the lake. <laughs> the, the one day lake again. <sighs> we don't have a view like this, Anna. You can't have everything, can you? <laughs> no, you definitely have to choose, pick yeah. and choose. I love it. There's so much space here, so everybody can 
you can have rooms for everybody, yes. all the family, all everybody working here. Yeah. It's lovely. It's very like communal living and such a lovely atmosphere in, in the, I mean, we've been in and out of the kitchen. It's like the hub. That's really yes. the hub of the chateau, isn't it? Yeah. This is stunning. Incredible. So much detailing. Mm. So it's quite, a lot of work has already been done. Yeah. It still looks very uh, run down, a little bit like faded glory. Yeah, uh, I quite like that. Yeah, me too, actually. And we actually have a chapel restorer who keeps promising to turn up. And hasn't yet. Uh, for two years now. So. so hopefully at some point. Yes. Also because we're so in such a rural area, yeah. there's, there's nothing here in the middle of France. Yeah. And I mean, if anyone knows anyone, like, leave us a comment. Let us know. So this is a car salon. Wow. It doesn't look very grand at the moment. And what is actually really cool here is you can see all these pieces of wood with hey, the nails. Yeah. What was that for? That's the original 18th century panelling, or prior to that. So, so they the would have been panelling, and what happened? Down. And then it burnt down? Yes. And we're working on putting the panelling back that was supposed to be here. That oh, used to be here. Yeah. So Steph, when she bought it, she renovated it, but she obviously, at the time, have. didn't have the budget yes. to do that, and now is able to. Thanks to Patreon as well. Yeah. Same as you, actually, yeah. where all the money from Patreon goes into the renovations of the chateau. And look at this one, Philip. Have you seen? This is part of the 18th century panelling that she purchased. Exactly. These panels will be on either side of the mirror, the fireplace. And this piece is incredible. This is so beautiful. And we're aiming to have it done by July. And okay, so the next time we're coming is in three months' time, and it will be ready for us, right? So yes. then we can. It's like our kitchen, Alex. <laughs> yeah. You're not at all late. <laughs> no. But I think you must have the same thing that whenever you want to do one project, then you find out 10 other projects that you have to complete before you can do the one project you initially wanted to do. Yeah, I was going to say, I can imagine, like, Steph obviously started 15, 16 years ago. Yes. But it's probably like the things that she renovated then are about ready to be re-renovated now. She renovated this room once and yeah. now we took everything off and just started from scratch. Yeah. And there's actually the fireplace you can see here that okay. we're going to be replacing. So like I said, it looks like a 19th century, I mean, could frankly even be 1980s, but a way to modern fireplace. Yeah. It does definitely look like from the 80s, but it's probably 19th century, but it would work in a... 80s Manhattan loft as well. Yes, yes. <laughs> so we will be putting back the beautiful oh, yes. uh, 18th century one. That's going to oh, make wow. much more coherent. And, I mean, it might be nice to see something that's actually finished, not yeah. something in progress. And we've got one room that I can think to show you, which is completely opposite of this, is our downstairs loo. <laughs> so we're in the 19th century service wing that was added. Well, this didn't used to be here, but yeah. this was originally designed as a downstairs loo, and we kept it as such. It's beautiful. I love the mural. Yeah, but well, it reminds me a little bit of the project you're doing. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I love the, the mirror. No. Yeah. Because I feel like with these sort of small little spaces, you can have so much fun. Yeah, you can really go wild. Yeah. But I've noticed in the chateau, there are really beautiful wallpapers everywhere. Steph obviously is loving with wallpapers. wallpaper. Yes. Yeah. And you've made your own. Yeah, but I'm very inspired by all the papers okay. I've seen here, especially the original one in our bedroom. It's beautiful. So I think that's all we're going to have time for today because I think we could keep going for another couple of hours. Yeah. Or days. Or days. <laughs> so we're definitely going to come back to do yeah. a bit more. But you said that Steph's well, got Steph some tours. She did a tour, yeah. indeed. Yeah, she, uh, two years ago, she did a full tour of the place. Yeah. Uh, I think it's four different videos. Wow. Um, so. Yeah, we'll definitely link onto that at the end of this video. So you guys, if you want to have a look right now, then you can go and watch those videos. A lot has changed since, I have to say, but there you can see all the servants' quarters and yeah. the hidden areas that we yeah. don't usually show. And if you go and subscribe to Chateau Diaries, then you'll be able to see everything as it's being done at the moment. Yeah. Thank you so much, Philip. Well, thank you. And yeah. before you go, you must see the bluebells. Okay. So maybe you could take the dog out for a walk or something. Yeah. And have little... Oh, we'll do that with the girls and Ziggy. We'll it's take like a them. Carpet of blue. Oh, you're so lucky. I want to get some bluebells. Maybe we'll have to steal some and There's plant plenty, them so in our just... woods. <laughs> Thank you so much for an amazing weekend. We have had the best time and we don't want to leave, but we have to get back to the kitchen renovation, so. Thank you so much, Stephanie. It's been so amazing having you here. Honestly, I cannot wait for you to come back. I hope we'll be soon. And yeah, we will definitely come and bug you in on stuff. Oh, you have to do. Philip, thank you so much for the guided tour. It was fabulous. Of course, my pleasure. And I hope to see you. Again.
Yeah, I hope to see you all in Honfleur again very soon. See you soon. If you enjoyed this episode don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates have a look at our patreon page thank you so much for watching